Hello, this is Dr. Alan Yim. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate or show bass arpeggiation in a 6-4 chord. So this is 6-4 chord used in a bass arpeggiation. So take a look at this second movement of a, of a Clementi Sonatina. In this piece, it's a po un poco adagio. So it means it's a little bit on the slow side. And you may be tempted to write some of these inversions because it's moving so slowly. So take a look at this. It's in the key of G. The first measure, maybe something like this. So could you analyze this as a one chord? And then maybe this is a one six since, you know, this is probably the most I would do in the analysis of this, you may not have to analyze that first inversion chord, but because it's so slow and beats one and three in four four are accented, maybe we it might be useful to analyze this. So we might go one, two, three, four. And if we do that, take a look at the next measure, this one here, measure three. All right, in this case, you notice the chord looks like D major. How do I know? Well, we take a look at this. Again, the fourth is at the top. So it might look something like this if we look at the whole measure. In this case, we would call this D over F sharp. And this would be a 5-6 chord. And then maybe over here, just like I did in the first measure, maybe I would call this a 6-4. Well, or maybe not. But if I do, let's, let's say I do do analyze this, and I call this a 5-6-4. Should that be actually part of the progression? Well, the answer is no, because this D over A is just an arpeggiation of the chord. So, definitely in situations where the chord is arpeggiated, whether it be, you know, up and down, such as that, or and in the bass just jumping from parts of you, you may see that in a very fast piece where the, the bass changes by moving up and down arpeggiating. When you when you think of the 6-4 here, and in fact any of these inversions, you may just cross them out and not and ignore it and call the whole measure just one and then five like this. So again when you see a bass arpeggiation, the inversions really um, are not important. And you can, I mean, I think you can safely leave it out unless it's really, really obviously accented or you sit on that arpeggio. You know, obviously, if it's like this, this is a first inversion. When you when you have the bass note like this on the downbeat, that's the, that's the inversion. But otherwise, do not analyze every single bass note, really, no matter how slowly this thing moves. I would just call each measure one or five in this case, five, six, because of this is the third of, of the, and it's the lowest. So just take a look at the lowest bass note. Okay, so that's it for bass arpeggiation. In the next video, I'm going to talk about bass melody. Thanks for watching.